Welcome all to another episode of Epic Haunts, but this is like a futuristic bit because the episode is actually going to be recorded a couple of weeks ago, but it all makes sense because basically Halloween Horror Nights, if you're watching on YouTube, you can tell why, decided to make an announcement behind our backs. No one expected it in the horror verse like that whatsoever. Simon, I feel like they listen to our show. Simon says he's not going next year. So what do they go and do to Simon? (laughs) Horror Nights announce a house. And the house is chucky. You wish you're mine now, doll. Now ah. sit back and learn from the master. There you go, guys. The master is coming to Halloween Horror Nights 32. Chucky. Bastard. <laughs> a house of all things as well. Not a scare zone. Not a little stand where he disses people. Literally an absolutely amazing scare zone. So we had to record this part before the episode with Gaz, what's coming out. Yeah. Um, because quite frankly, we couldn't leave this for like six, seven weeks. It would have been stupid. No. Because no. explaining why people, we've um, recorded so many episodes with different guests about yeah. different topics and different things they've done at Halloween Horror Nights and that, that this news wouldn't have come out quick enough. So lucky we hadn't released this week's episode yet. Yep. Yeah. And so if you're watching fun. this later on, you might recognize these clothes. Because the future episode is being recorded after we've done this. Stay tuned. Recognize he's close. <laughs> um, well, is there anything you'd like to tell me? A young lady in Orlando we don't know about. But seriously, so let's get away from that. What do you think of the um announcement? Was it a shock the day it happened or that? It shocked me because I got a message uh, from Craig Lucas, didn't know what he was on about. It's it wasn't a shock. Um, it was possibly needed to be fair. If because um, in the Twitterverse, in the Instagramverse, HHN31 has gone down well, but not great uh, with a lot of lot of the community. So I think this was a way of bringing them back. I know a lot of people have said, well, this is the earliest house announcement. Yes, it is. But we always seem to get an announcement wrapped sometimes uh, before the event has ended, because we had it with uh, when the event ended in 24. Jack came out and said that it was coming back for 25. Um, we had the puppet uh, master thing happening on Peacock. From last yeah, year what, what, what wasn't meant to happen? COVID, or it was yeah. meant to happen, and COVID mucked that up. People seem to forget that yeah. now. So it's it, it it was a it was a surprise to a degree, but uh, I take it um, the, the one of Hurley Hurley sales announcements. It, we had the we had this argument, or well, we had this discussion with a lot of people and ourselves about Halloween Horror Nights' announcement schedule last last season. And it was terrible. So this might be their way of thinking, let's get them interested for next year now. And um, I just wish they'd told me this before, because as you can probably tell by the intro, Chucky is one of my favourite characters. And I missed the one in 2009, because I didn't go. I went in 2008 and 2010. Um, I did see the Scur Zone, but I want to see a Chucky house. I want to see... The one line is the 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 the, the, the demon Chucky or the, the sadistic Chucky. I just I want to see how nice, they're nice gonna. I'm gonna tell. I want to put it off as people if you haven't watched Chucky. I've got to be careful because Simon hasn't watched them properly yet. The series. No, no. There's a point. Well, well. I think there's a lot of Chucky dolls, and I can't say about season two yet because Simon hasn't finished season one, but. Uh, one well, of the lines, what's been online already with the nun is absolutely hilarious in season two with Chucky Doll. Right. And Simon already knows about this because I said it to him. I didn't know he hadn't watched season one to Airdrift. Um, the burned, melted face Chucky. That doll has to be somewhere in the house. 
it's got to be it, probably, there. it will uh, any any iteration of chucky i even think to be fair i think that iteration that was in the show then which is the the scar chucky from uh, i think it's child's play three and four um they, they even they'll make an appearance so we'll have to wait and see we'll have to wait and see um like i said it's not out of the fully out of the question that i won't be going but i don't think i will this next year it's highly unlikely I'm told him oh. we've had this conversation on the phone. If the white whale comes in Halloween three, he won't need a plane. He will sprint across the water. <laughs> he well, will be across that. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll at least get my miles in somewhere. <laughs> so so um, that's it. Apart from our um, theme park news as well at Universal, we've had that dropped on us as well. Yes, uh, Five Falls Playland, uh, the old Barney area, which is now um, is it Shrek meet and greet. Um, Shrek and, and George. Works. Yeah. Yeah, the DreamWorks area and uh, Curious George is closing on the 15th of January uh, for a redevelopment. Um, why we brought it up on this episode is because usually two houses, uh, entrances are over in that area. So the logistics-wise, things will change for next year at Halloween Horror Nights because they won't be able to use the entrance. We do believe, and what we've been told is E.T., Animal Actors and Sponge, SpongeBob Store Pants is staying there. I'm just going to say it that way, not the other way around. Uh, but um, logistics for Halloween Horror Nights is going to have to change in that area. Uh, I heard a few rumours of what it might go around the back of Simpsons and they might go through the ETQ. We don't know what they're going to do. Uh, they can also they might... move. What they can move one of the houses back to where Men in Black was. They could do, um, but that was the entrance for Bugs. Going into one of the things. But so, there's logistics for like, well, you know, this Universal, yeah, 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 Universal know what they're doing. They're not going to do this lightly. This was in the works back in 2015 before Epic Universe was announced. We had these that the, the kid zone was going. That's it. Woody Walker, Woody Woodpecker's kid zone. Got the It'd be next. interesting to see what they put there. You can see something like Pokemon, maybe DreamWorks, or maybe Zelda. That's the only three properties yeah. I can really think of. Um, I think the animal acting is only getting a stay of execution longer. I Maybe. think when Simpsons go, I, yeah, I think that's I think that is all going to come one big area mm. because Simpsons, the problem with Simpsons it, that area is too small to put a proper land in. You get rid of the animal acting, and I'm sorry if people like it, it opens it up a lot more. Well, my theory um, with everything that's happening with minions. The entrance might be the kids' area, and that area might completely start off as phase one because there is a big rumor going around that Lord of the Rings is coming. Really? So, yeah, there's a rumor going around about Lord of the Rings at Epic Universe or somewhere. Why not phase one, kids' zone, phase two, Simpsons? Now, that is a big, good, good replacement for Simpsons because Simpsons will go at some point. Lord of the Rings. Contract the Simpsons. Expired. Yeah, that's what I mean. But if you think of that whole area, could be. Yeah. I'm not, it's just speculate. It's just me, my head going in silly directions. I'm going to do it one more time. Universal, just give Marvel over to bloody Disney, your things stated, and just mm. do the deal what you was originally meant to have. Now the universe is now getting its ass sorted and get DC in. DC is now under better control now. It's under new ownership. And I feel like mm. we could get some, I mean, you don't even have to change most of the rides. I've said this before, Spider-Man's Batman. Um, to keep the track yeah, green. Yeah, but that's Island's, on that, Hulk. That's on yeah, the island side. But I'm saying, so, but yeah, yeah. But I'm saying all these things, they, they can put some on each side. You can have you can have so many different areas. They can do like they did with Harry Potter. Mm. But yeah, that's okay. it anyway, guys. That is pretty much the news. So in a second, we're going to go back to the episode with Gaz from the Just Incredible Ones. Before we go, we oh, will more. show you. We'll show you the the, the an official announcement video from Universal. Yeah, maybe we should have done that first. <laughs> well, <laughs> doesn't matter. Can we yeah, hear we go, it, guys? You didn't turn the sound on, did you, Simon? Hmm? You didn't make it so you can share sound. It's it's playing it on my end. It's not. You have to go to the bottom left and it says share sound to the other people. I'm an expert at this. <laughs> right, so what? You go into screen share, so you why, click on screen it share, and it says share sound bottom left. Yeah, well, why is it saying that there? Right, anyway. Right. How we go again? Yeah. yeah. Here we go. I see you. Chucky, wanna play? 
<laughs> Boom. Yeah, that's right. I'm back. And I'll see you suckers at Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights next year. In our new haunted house, inspired by the hit USA sci-fi series Chucky, is coming in 2023 to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Orlando Resort and Universal Studios Hollywood. I can't wait to play. <laughs> and catch new episodes of Chucky, Wednesdays at 9 on USA and Sci-Fi. If, you live in if you're in America. And it'll start playing itself again. I'm excited for it. I, I watched the Chucky series. Um, it's going to be brilliant. The good thing is what we've got to say as well. Hollywood too. So we both get in the yeah, same house. Uh, what I did notice though so is the end. It's still on Never Go Alone. Is that the future tagline for Halloween Horror Nights? It's, they've used it for the third year. This will be the third year on the roll. Mm. Or maybe they just didn't think about changing it. Yeah, they're holding the new tagline until later on next year. Well, I hope so because I'll Never Go Alone so is crap. It should be... <laughs> Come and get drunk and make the scare zone scary again. It's very long. Come and spend this absolute fortune on drinks. Yes. Anyway, guys, over to Gaz. See you in a bit. Whoa. What the hell is that? Anyways, you can see there's three of us, but who is the third person? And welcome to Epic Haunts. I'm one of your hosts, Phil. As normal, unfortunately, I'm with Simon. Hi, Simon. Fortunately, I'll, I'll leave. I'll <laughs> I'm upset because Newcastle just got over Chelsea in the league. Oh, oh, oh! Put the mask back on. Put it back on. Oh, look! Oh, look! Look who's back, Simon. Look who's back. Back again. Uh, I'll, have to, I'll, I'll have to. Yeah, I'll have to watch this on the on playback because I've only got one video at a time on mine. Well, unbelievable! It is Gaz from the Incredible Wilson's YouTuber extraordinaire you know but we all know the star of his youtube channel tr- tr- truthfully is me <laughs> i'd say it was seb really <laughs> actually to tell, you, to tell the jokes aside actually he's had a video of me out and the one after it he's got he's getting no views so clearly i've mucked it up for him <laughs> 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 so it's all oh, down to me no. anyway guys how you doing mate long time and no see yeah no great mate absolutely amazing i'm glad to be back on again to be honest Can with you. i say that top you've got on stand up and show everyone it that is awesome it's the and one that we bought we bought from the spirit uh halloween shop in orlando when I, and when obviously you people me. if you want to see what me and gaz are both wearing you need to see the youtube video to understand up. but he's got um friday the 13th um ice hockey top on basically yeah that's it yeah yeah pretty cool spirit Hooray. harley and right behind him yeah um behind right behind him it says enter if you dare Am I correct? Is that yeah. that is a cool banner up? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't mean anything like enter if you do in that respect. You know that, don't you, Phil? Well, <laughs> <laughs> don't be ex- Phil, don't be getting excited. Gaz is just about to announce his only fans. <laughs> 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 Jokes aside, oh, Gaz boy. is here for this episode. Obviously, you've all missed him clearly, uh, but he's a busy man, so he can't always be on. And we are talking today Halloween Horror Nights again as Simon's camera froze there. That was brilliant. But we're talking Halloween Horror Nights 31 as the incredible Wilsons did it. And a little different from me and Simon. So, Gaz, what type of ticket did you have, by the way? So initially we we went in with the sta- with a standard ticket. I just wanted to check that Seb was going to be happy going in there and seeing it was okay. And then once he, you know, he said he, he was okay with it, we bought the RIP tour tickets. Ooh. So that's yeah. what me and Simon haven't done. We've never done an RIP tour. And I'm trying to keep this one swear free because the Incredible Wilsons are a family channel. So I'm not going to swear on this episode. But the the RIP tour, let me tell you, from the get-go, it was amazing. Um, Yeah, but we'll we'll get to that. But, Simon, have you got any questions you want to ask? Or do you want me to lead? um, No. Well, the main question is, have you you've done Halloween Horror Nights before, I take it, yeah? Yes. (laughs) Yeah. So would you... I'm going to say this without... Right. Why does okay. this feel like a court case? <laughs> um, it's nothing criminal. You're not going to say anything incriminating. Well, well, no, I just don't want to give away what your feelings are for the whole event. Yeah. Um, Simon, the new She Hulk. Yeah. Would you rather have gone to this event or last year's event? <coughs> should I say? Depending on what you saw. Would they have rather gone to this event year? or to 29 that I went to? 
or tw- 30s last year's event or would you yeah. are you glad you went to this one and not last year's um I'll be honest with you I'm glad I went to this one um was this one as good as 29 no but yeah I'm, I am glad I went to this one um because last year's it wasn't really a full event was it it was, but they still had the plexiglass it, and that, didn't yeah, they? Yeah. It was a full event except for the ple- plexiglass, but I'm right. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's all I wanted to ask. Uh, my connection is terrible. <laughs> that's okay. So what I'm going to do is, so Seb, so if people don't know who Seb is, ha- um, explain Seb and your YouTube channel quickly to everyone so they understand. Yeah, so so Seb's uh, my my little boy. He's, he's now actually 10. Um, yes, it was his birthday the other day. So happy yeah, it was his birthday, birthday. And, and I asked him, I said to him, do you want to go to Halloween Horror Nights? It's down to you. He said, I really want to go. So I said, well, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the park first. We're just going to buy the basic ticket. Let's see how he handles it. And I'll be honest with you, he handled it like he was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. You know, he was up for it. He loved it. And for that reason, then we decided to go and buy the RIP tour tickets. What well, was very good. And... Um... So you said you got when you mean RIP tour tickets. Do you mean the Russia Fear tickets by any chance? No, no. Because you yeah, had multiple yeah. days, yeah. Yeah. So we had the Russia Fear. Is that the, that was one where we had it for full month? Yeah. So, so you we had, had the Russia, Russia Fear. Fear what do you mean? You also booked a day for RIP tour as well. Yeah, yeah. So we had the Russia Fear tickets. When you buy the RIP tour, tour tickets, you also this is a bit of a con. You all, you already have to have the Halloween Horror Nights ticket. So you can't just buy the RIP tour ticket. You have to buy the the ticket before. Yeah, well, that, that's that's a common thing for Universal. Any anything on to, everything is on top of the original ticket. It always yeah. it's always been like that. So, but like I said, you've got the three stages. You've got the normal ticket, express passes, and then what you did, which is the RIP tour. <laughs> so, oh, didn't there's work. one above that, which is a private RIP tour. Yes, I take it you didn't do that one. No, no, I'll be honest with you, though, we're really lucky because we actually did the tour with some of our friends. And friends? We, yeah, and there was literally just, an, <laughs> there was just another couple of people in there who we didn't know. So, in theory, it was like a private tour. You know? It's actually your, your couple of friends. Five, it was good actually seeing years, their video. Yeah. yeah. I think there was more than five. There's like maybe eight. No, say five, five of yourself with yourself and... The, no, well, there, were, there was three of us, and then there was. I'm just trying to work it out now. Five of them. There was eight of us. There was eight of us. There was five of you, and then plus the other people. Yeah. No, I think what he's trying to say, Simon, is that he was with five friends. So there was yeah, eight so there was of them, eight and of then us. a couple of other people. Yes, yeah, so there was ten, like ten in total, but there was eight of us who were, were a group as such. So yeah, it was really oh, right. okay. That's pretty cool. So before we get into the RP tour and people, I'm going to be really interested in this because I've never done one. Gaz, first things are first. Do you think the crowds were too big this year in Halloween Horror Nights? It was really, really busy. It's like we've just put a YouTube video out today. And the first night we went, um, one of the houses that me and Seb queued for the second house he did, which was Bugsy and Alive, I think it was, um, we queued for over 90 minutes. 90 t- minutes. Did you ever time it? Because after the time, they say them times and they're about 40 minutes lower. Yeah, than yeah. No, we did actually time it because um, I said to Seb, because we were recording a video, I said, let's see how long this takes. And it, it was 90 minutes. <coughs> I said, I got a bit lucky with most of the smaller houses. It was only the big IP ones that I had to start using Express Passes for. Other than that, I got in quite quick through most of them. <coughs> Oh my god, sorry everyone. The cough I got rid of has seemed to return to what's really annoying me. I had two days without coffee, but today it's back. Actually, I'm starting to think it's this stuff I'm drinking. What is he drinking? It's um Coke Zero, and I've got a feeling that's what's doing it. So I'm gonna go a few days detoxing again and see if it stops it all. But people, that <laughs> is all right. We're, I'm gonna stop boring everyone with what I'm drinking. <laughs> all right, so let's get into your houses. Um, if, have you got a list? Ten to one, ten being the worst, one being the best, and we'll um, quickly talk about them. No, I can. I'm going to tell you. Well, what just my, give me your best, Em. I'm going to tell you my favorite house, and I'm, and I've already listened to your podcast, and I know you won't agree with me. Both of you won't agree with me, especially Phil. <laughs> my favorite house was Halloween. <laughs> that, but by the way, people, if you haven't lo- listened to the previous episode, that was my seventh favorite out of ten. Yeah, you know, Halloween, <laughs> my favorite, and my, a close second was uh, I love the Universal Monsters. 
it, I, I hope they never do a house, by the way, on the last Halloween movie which has been out. Because if there was 10 houses, it would fall 11th because that film was dog turd. <laughs> do, do you know what's crazy is not- regarding, regarding the houses, you know, it's like one house I really didn't enjoy. I didn't enjoy the weekend and other people loved it. It's just, it's all personal preference, isn't it? My second. <laughs> you, know, um, you know, it's just. Can I ask you, you a question with the weekend? Did you watch videos, music videos before you went into it? No. Neither did I. So it's interesting. We're both at a different scale on it. Why a lot of people went, oh, I've got to watch all the videos. So that was quite interesting to see. Um, so anyway, what did you think of? I uh, was just think of just a random house. One I really can't stand. Hell, but hell, a block horror. Um, it was okay. You know, I don't. I don't think it was amazing. I don't think it was terrible. I just thought it was okay. Um, the other one that I really liked was was it, was it called Deadman's Pier? Brilliant, absolutely amazing. Yeah, you know, not scary at all. But just it was just the set was it was massive the big ship with the lady on the violin how good was it you know that was that was probably them three were probably my top three I'll be honest with you you know um, interesting but it's, so it's funny just... it, it's funny how everybody has a different uh, view on it isn't it yeah it, it, that's what makes these events good there is no right or wrong answer well there's a correct answer and that's mine but <laughs> <laughs> I digress people i'm only joking what did you think of the scare zones over this year because I, I i don't like calling them scare zones anymore to me they're selfie zones yeah i'll be honest with you there was only one scare zone that i really rated and that was the one that was outside the bourne do you know the graveyard, graveyard. graveyard that honest. was the one that i loved um and me and christy were talking about this earlier the if I have you know one part that I loved about that was right at the end. Did you see the two twins who were skipping around yeah. the two girls? Yeah, did, we're I, talking about I'm not today. sure. Did Simon did they use them two girls for the shining house? Um because they look, look very like similar. Two girls. Um, so I was well, wondering. Yeah, well that, that was definitely my favorite scare zone. The problem with the rest of the scare zones is they were just that busy, you yes. know, like some of them you, you couldn't get through them, could you? You know, it yeah, was just especially like, um Sweet Revenge, that was so crowded. Yeah. And really I really wanted crowded. to enjoy That's where I lost my um, first one of these. Remember, I literally right. put it down. I, I, once when I met you and Andrew, I put it down for two seconds, turned around, and it was gone. Someone no. literally was watching me, watched me put it down, and then gone just like that. So th- there's some sticky fingers out there, unfortunately, at the event, but you can't win them all. Uh, right, um, Simon's just going to leave us for a few seconds, guys. He's having um, internet problems and he will come back in. So it'll be just down to me and Gaz now. So we'll get into your family then. What did Christy think of the event? Yeah, Christy really enjoyed it. Um, you know, this is the second time we've done it. Do you know what was amazing? Pardon? Before? You what, sorry? You're married? How long have you been married for? Ten years, I think. And it's, only, this, and it's only the second time you've done it? We've not been married ten years, actually. This we've is been really... together 10. No, we've been together 11. She's here. We've been together 11. <laughs> yeah, but, okay, you've we've got it totally... Six. We've been married six. Oh, my God, guys. No wonder, you, uh, no wonder... If you don't know stuff like this, no wonder you've only done it twice. <laughs> no, we've... Yeah, we've only been, we've only been <laughs> twice. <laughs> we've only been twice. Um, but, yeah, Christy really enjoyed it. Um, I, I can ask Christy, what was your favourite house? Um, probably Dead Man's Pier. Dead Man's oh, Pier was Christy's Christy favourite house. Christy's favourite Christy's yeah. Good taste, so. yeah, that was a favourite. You were fortunate enough to do that one with us as well, Phil. Yeah, we did it together, didn't we, Phil? Oh, I don't bloody remember, guys. I've did it millions of times. I went yeah, with about we... six different people. God, <laughs> tell me. Famous outlet. But, no, it was... Uh, no, Christy enjo- really enjoyed the event. Seb was in his element. He absolutely loved it, you know. It's crazy how much he enjoyed it. Uh, what, what, what bugged me? What I would say. I wouldn't know if Seb would have enjoyed, like, from say 28 when it was actually a proper horror event for me yeah so i, I think like i think like you said it, it's not um it's nowhere near as scary as it used to be is it well no, so it doesn't help with the scare zones now they everyone just wants to stop the scare actors and get selfie well, what i kind of understand it's free advertising but at the same time i, I as i keep on saying some i'd rather just have one area where you can get selfies and then yeah. actually make the other scare zones what they're meant to be and make it back yeah. into that event. But no, I, th- I think we spoke about this while we was there. There was something missing this year, wasn't there? A lot of people have been saying they can't put their finger on it. And I know I don't, I don't, I don't know what it was. 
I don't, I don't know what it was, but I know. I think I know... one of the things what might not help is the weather. Almost every night it rained. Yeah, I think that was one thing. It's like, um, you know, the first night we set off over there to meet yourself, it was absolutely throwing it down. And we, we just turned back, didn't we? And we went home. You know, you did, I didn't. So I stayed. We, we got, got a few houses stayed. done. You stayed, but, you know, we had Seb with us at the time. He's nine year old. Last thing he wanted to do was be out there in the rain like that. Yeah, you know, he, he, uh, he would have got a bad thing about the event as well, and he may never have enjoyed it. Yeah, so we we just literally, we got there, we turned back around, we stayed for about 10, 15 minutes, and we went back. So how long how long was you in Orlando for me? Was it 10 days? Yeah, just 10 days, yeah. Um, just 10 days. Just 10 days, <laughs> yeah. You were there for 21, wasn't you? Um, yeah, but I was in about four of them, so it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are just there for 10 days, but like you said, going back to the RIP tour, if if people can afford to save up and do it, I would highly recommend it. Uh, you know, as soon as we got there, the food that they put on was amazing. Uh, all your complimentary drinks, you know, and obviously you get a tour guide. The tour guide was amazing. So let's we'll start again. What was the what was the price you paid for the RIP um, tour? For all three of us, it was. I'm gonna say, was it about one thousand one hundred, Christy? Yeah. Yeah, about one. Was 000, it a week? Was it a weekday or weekend? It was a weekday. It was a Wednesday. Yeah. So, yeah. So it was, it was approximately about 300. And... and it's, if I'm right, you go into the event first and the RIP tour starts around 8 p.m. Um, yeah. It was, it was 7 p.m. It started, wasn't it? Yeah. So we got there at six. Um, we got took to, uh, to Cafe La Bamba. Yeah. Yeah. yeah to Cafe La Bamba. Um, they had all complimentary food complimentary drinks um we ate you know we chilled out it was really relaxed <coughs> yeah, they had um scur actors in there the scur actors in there were actually Decent. better than the scur actors in the we'll, we, 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 we'll get to die and see what you think that as well because anyone's listened to a, a previous one that's how bad me and simon thought it was so yeah. what type of food was you getting in there was you were getting like pizza buffet? fries chicken pizza um the food was actually Better than the Scur Actor Dining. Was there alcoholic drinks and was they free? No. The drinks that were free were um, soft drinks. They literally had these massive crates with uh, Cokes in, uh, waters, you know, Sprite. And then obviously they did alcoholic drinks, but the alcoholic drinks were, you know, the standard price in there. They're expensive. I th yeah, I think everybody who is paid for that RIP tour should at least got one voucher per person for an alcohol one free alcoholic drink i think i think that's yeah. one thing i would change about it because i mean you're, i'll say you just spent over a grand there already and one drink yeah. is not going to kill them no and to be honest with you what's funny is we queued up inside and i was actually with paul andrew's dad paul oh, is yeah. a 60 year old he went to order three drinks we had to get someone up from the table because they wouldn't serve him for three drinks yeah, it's very strange that is um yeah the event one of our mates um he went up to get himself a drink and he needed an id but other places, no one was IDing you. And then, as you say, if you have more than the amount of people there, alcoholic yeah, drinks, there was, there was they, have, they have to be there. there. Yeah, we had it when we met a few people there, me and Simon, at the um, Springfield area. And they had to, the person said, oh, can you quickly come over here? It was only five metres away, but we walked yeah. over so they could look at us. Well, I kind of understand because if I'm buying an alcoholic drink and I've got a minor with me who may drink in England, he's 18, 19, yeah. even 20. Um you know, I could buy two drinks and give one to him, but he wouldn't officially be allowed one. But I think that's what they're worried about, people giving drinks to minors. Yeah, no, but so like <coughs> I said, we, we, we got our drinks and then the tour literally starts. You go you go from house to house. They so how do you know how do you know what tour guide you get? That's you what don't. I was trying to get. You don't. So we were very, very lucky. We got this girl and she was absolutely amazing. She was so good. You know, I, they give I, you the I saw. On, I think I saw on Andrew's vlog. She said something about she used to be a scare actor. Yeah, so she was one of the scare actors in <clears throat> the Us House. Ooh. That's... Yeah. Um, yeah, she was really, really good to be honest with you. And as, as soon as we got outside, you know, she gives you the rundown on the tour. She tells you about the first house. She gives you the background story on it, um, and then you literally just you just you just walk to the front of the queue. And the, the beauty of the tour as well is. You go through all the back entries, entrances, you know. <laughs> oh God, I knew you'd laugh at that. You know, you, you go backstage, sorry. You go backstage. Oh, backstage, eh? Yeah. You go through it's, the back it's really door. Good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. 
<laughs> was a black door like a like black hole sort of thing in like <laughs> I've no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, no. This is why Simon needs to hurry up back because I start changing. <laughs> so yeah, so you basically even beat the express pass people, in other words. You get pushed well, you, in front you, of them. You, there, there is no queue. You literally walk straight to the front. Um and that's it. You go in. Um so it, the RIP person who walks you around, what do they exactly do? They literally have a, a wand and they walk in front of you. You follow them. They get to the front of the queue. Um, they have like they have some sort of like machine, <laughs> some sort of code that they scan, and then they just take you into the house. Um, but before each house, they give you the full backstory of the house and what what it's about. Yeah, that's what I was wondering about. So they do give you the full story of the house as you're Correct, walking with, yes. with the tour guide. Simon, welcome back. We just came through your back. tour. Sorry about the technical issues. Going back to the yes, old so, way so, I mean, Just to help you out, we're talking RIP toys, talked about the food and alcohol's not free in there. Yeah, um, I know that. So what was the, what the tour guy does. Have you asked him about what the food was like? Was it any good? It's, well, it's better than the um, scare out to die then, apparently. It was just like, um, it was like well, stuff honestly, like from the vendors, the, it sounds like. The food was really, really good. I couldn't Wait, believe where it. Where did you actually eat then? Did you eat in, was it in Lombards or was it at the um, bit near the... Uh, Cafe La Bamba. Uh, monster makeup make- makeup place. Yeah, so Cafe La Bamba, which is That's just up in there. Um, you literally walk in, and like I was saying, all your food's free. Um, and the food is amazing. The only thing that's not free is your alcohol. But Phil yeah, was well, saying, I, really, they well, should I give you one they, free one. They should give you one back. They should give a voucher to every adult who's over 21. Well, and- I know the alcohol is usually only free when it's media. Um, so everyone gets a sample of stuff, but yeah, no, it's uh, so. Did you did you actually say how much it cost you, or are you, you're not divulging that information? No, no, I've told you it was for the three of us, <coughs> it was around 1100 pounds for three of us. So well, that's it's re- that's not too bad to guarantee every single house, yeah, as well. So, and and you, you know, and it's like, yeah, food, and like I said, as well, mm. the that's tour another guide, thing. You, that's what they should be giving you as well. A special RIP tour, one of these, a refill cup, people who's not obviously watching. the. Um, I've got the Universal Monsters Legends Clyde one here. They well, should give you a least, special... At least give you a souvenir oh, one. Yeah. Something yeah. like one, Yeah. Well, you can just refill your drinks in the soda machines throughout the park. I mean, mm. all right. I mean, seriously, I'm going to keep on saying this now on every podcast. Give a freebie like this. It doesn't cost you anything. Give them one that says RIP tour on it so it's different. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. you know, just for the night, it'd be. I think it would be a really useful thing to do. The the two things you do get as well, you get the RIP lanyard, which yes. obviously you can't buy in the shops. Um, and you also get um you get express pass onto all the rides for that night. But the thing right, is yes, for, that's brilliant. Yeah. yeah, so the thing is for us though, is the tour finished at um what time was it, Christy? At 1 a.m. It was 1 a.m. it finished. Ooh, yeah. And, and so we, it's we seven were, honestly, to one though, it's quite a long time. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, we were on our feet, Seb. Was so tired. I'll be honest with you. We got to a point with the, when we were at the last house. If, we were, <coughs> if you know, if you, we, we thought about leaving. I'll be honest with you, only because he was so tired. It's a long time. So, did you do anything that day before the RIP tour, or like, did you go in the parks or anything? Yeah. Do you know? I can't remember what did we do that day, Christy. What day was it? Twenty third. Yeah, I can't actually remember. What that's we that's that's one thing I would recommend to anyone: if any do any of these tours, behind the screen tours, the RIP tours, anything to do with them, don't do anything else that day. So you did it on a Friday, in other words. Hmm. So, that explains the price of it. That's what I was trying to find out because Friday, day, Saturday, it'd be more expensive. Yeah, Christy just told me we actually went to Universal that day. <laughs> yeah, oh, so there you go. I, I, yeah, yeah, I know people who've done the Unmasking the Horror tour, an RIP tour that night. And then go to Halloween Horror Nights the day after, and they do that in like forty eight hours, and they don't move for a week. It's a lot. There's a lot of people who do, do underestimate yeah. how much walking, especially is involved. how humid it was. Did it rain the night you did the RIP tour? Um, it was raining when we initially came out, but it stopped. That's okay. good then. Yeah, so we were really lucky. Um, I remember when me and Christy came in, did the twenty nine. We did the half RIP tour. I'm so glad it wasn't a 69. <laughs> oh, God. And, um, <laughs> we were keeping this clean, Phil. Yeah, so we, we that did is the down, that. That is down to people, what they think in their minds. If they get what I'm saying, they're just as bad as me. 
Yeah, and I'll be honest with you, the rain actually spoiled it that time because it was that wet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> to Phil, honestly, what is he about this man? Honestly, like a child. <laughs> this is what I've got to put up with every single day. I, t- I told you the podcast has changed a lot, guys. It's not that family friendly anymore. <laughs> oh, God. But <laughs> I've lost my trail of thought now. I don't know what I was saying then. <laughs> <laughs> the name of your DVD that is anyway so we were I've actually took Simon where were we uh, food I think no no he was in the oh, house. I, I, I stepped in when you were just about to start talking final about house, houses you, final house you went to the park through the daytime yes yeah and like I said to you it, it's it's such a long day like Simon said you, you need to not do and anything no during rain. the day. And there was no rain once, once you started to do it properly. Yeah, there was no rain, but honestly... <coughs> and you got... <coughs> it's an experience that I would say to anybody, if you, <laughs> you can, to, I would definitely recommend it 100%. Because then you're at a point where if you've seen everything, done everything, like that, that evening that you went, you could just go and so, spend time in the park, can't I've you? I've got a question, though. How many times did you... How many houses did you do? How many times did you do them? We did every house once. And it took yeah. you to 1, 1 a.m. Yeah, still. well, I, I can answer this one for Gav as well, because when you do a, a, a set RIP tour, you only get to go in every house once. If you do a private RIP tour, you're, you're the guide. Control, yeah. So you can yes. go through the houses three, four, you can go through Halloween three times if you wanted to. If you and your group want to go through Halloween three times, you can do that. You can go like 20 so, times. Was there any other stop-off places you could go to as well? Like they would take you into an RIP stop-off place. Yeah, so so we stopped off. We stopped off uh, twice. We went to uh, where Jimmy Fallon is. There's a um, upstairs, upstairs. Yeah, yeah. So we went there. Um, <coughs> there's a bar in there, and um, we could get drinks, but all chargeable. Um, you know, which I really I think, you know, you know, you spent all that money. They should throw you a free drink on. You know, at the stops, but they don't. Um, so yeah, and then we also stopped at um, the cafe across from Fast and Furious. What's that one called? Uh, Lombards. Yeah, That's we stopped we there. Place. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we stopped there for about twenty minutes each time, and then also they took us to watch the the show as well. So we watched the show. What's the show called? Marathon. Which one? No, not Marathon. The, 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 Ghoulish. Right. Ghoulish. Yeah. Right. So you watched. So we you watched, watched Ghoulish. Yeah, but that, that again, when you're on an RIP tour, they take you through the front and you just go and sit on the right of the front. You have seats. Yeah, yeah. So, Interesting. and what did you think of it, Ghoulish? Yeah, I thought it was okay. I enjoyed it. It was very, um, Seb, Seb was giggling because it was quite risque, wasn't it? Yeah, it's, it was no good. It's nowhere near as good um, as Marathon and Mayhem, but it was good. I yeah. think it lost, it lost on its about way. Nightmare Fuel. Yeah, that's what. Oh, that one? right. Is that right? when he said no, scare Phil? I thought you would have clicked that yeah. he was on about Nightmare Fuel. And <laughs> yeah, so it's the one where the lady uh, had all the leather on. And she was dancing right in front of you. You would have loved. Yeah, that. We... I've not seen that one, Phil. No, we didn't go. Oh, watch I can't it. stand, it's not stand them shows. Yeah, I mean, when you listen to the episode, what came, what's come out before this one? Go and listen to what I think a monster stomp at Hallow Scream, everyone. Oh, we are. We're, we're, we're going to get slated on online for that one. I can. I oh can well. Feel it. I'm here to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. <laughs> hey, we're not married yet. Calm down. <laughs> no, when you're married, that's when you start lying to each other, isn't it? <laughs> Daz is like, no, no, not at all. <laughs> I think, I think, Christy, I think Christy, oh, I think Christy's going to make a detour you, you, of it. You, you also missed a bit when Gaz couldn't decide if he was married for 10, 11 years, and then he found out he was six. <laughs> We've been together 11. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that bit was pretty not cool. answering that what? question. And just after that quick commercial break, what probably hasn't been put in by me because I'm lazy. Um, we were talking about Monster Stomp and it was a bit risque. So when you say risque, what do you mean risque for a young lad like Seb? Yeah, well, when we were on the tour, the woman said, would you mind Seb going to the show? And we was like, no, I'd be fine. It was just um, quite provocative. The ladies quite- are all in leather and, you know, quite skimpy. You would, honestly, I, I presume you would have liked it, Phil. I presume that, but maybe you wouldn't. But there was men in Lycra and everything, so maybe you would have uh, liked it. So no, mate. Whatever it sounds like, what you do at home, mate. But <laughs> 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 so, did, but did Seb like it? No, he did like it because there was loads of fire. Um, the music was really loud. 
you know, it was good. And there was a little bit of a story about, behind it, you know. It was the, about the, the guy who was having nightmares at night in his bed. It was good. Well, well, we enjoyed it. How long did it go on for? About 30 minutes. That's, that's a good resting period, but them chairs are so uncomfortable in there. Yeah, the, the more, when I said chairs, sorry, more like Schools. a bend. Yeah. yeah, like a stall. Are you, are you, if I do them shows, I sit right at the back, at the top, so you've got right. the fence bit behind you so you can lean on it. Yeah, no, no, it was good. It was good. <laughs> and obviously that that's that's one of the that's what obviously takes up the whole the time, you know, because you're going to the shows, you have two breaks, um, you know, and obviously you go for food, you know, it's 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 um like you say, it's a six hour event, you know, and it's you're constantly moving apart from the two little breaks. That's what I mean. A lot of people don't realise if you want to get everything done. It's a ve- even with even if you have express passes, it's a very tiring night. Your feet are going to feel it the next morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, we we said that you know. Did we you make your clocks? <laughs> I had trainers on actually that evening, but yeah, it's like Christy said to me. You know, there's no quicker way to get around the houses. You know, oh, the, 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 way, the way we did it, uh, <laughs> and, and we were still tired. I agree. There's no quick way if you don't want to go backwards and forwards on yourself because. Most nights I don't have Express or anything, and I just go on the app and I say, oh, that house is only 30 minutes, let's get across to that side of the park. That house is only 20 minutes, we'll get to that side. Well, the one right next to it is 25 minutes, we'll do that one next. I move all over the place. I don't stick to one way of doing it. Yeah. What's she doing in there? She's hoovering up, I think. Let me just shut that door. (laughs) It sounds like she's started a blender up. Yeah. I was like, she's trying to kill everyone now. I do like that sign, though. And that's take- um, it's a, it's just a, that's Dharma style, isn't it? She's just blending something up in the kitchen. Mm. So, um, so, as you alluded to earlier, quickly, you finally met me out there. What did you think of the most amazing man on the planet? Um, I don't understand the, all, what all the hype's about, to be honest with you. Yeah, no, there's no hype about Simon <laughs> whatsoever, is there? <laughs> I, I just turn up and enjoy myself. That's all I do. God, there's a lot of hype there about this epic film game. You've got there? a really dirty mind tonight, you. It's, you just, it's, it's the reason why we don't usually call you will get, You will get banned from the event if you just turn up and enjoy yourself on your own. <laughs> well, I don't enjoy, I better off enjoying myself on my own and actually in some of the houses. Oh, because you didn't like them. But okay, but, but why would you be enjoying yourself in the houses as well? Simon. <laughs> I don't like getting scared. Adding extra effects. No, that, that, that's, that's uh, not going there. <laughs> so, oh, oh, dear, dear. so we've talked houses, we've talked scare zones, we've talked pretty much RIP tour. Um, is it worth the money? 100% for me. 100% so, I reckon it's worth the money. I'll add on to that. If you had the choice of spending that <laughs> a little bit more and having 10 people that you you know, would you do a private one? Would I? 100% yeah. yes. Because yeah. obviously then if it's houses you don't like, you can go, no, I'm not doing that tonight. Yeah. Um, if and I, I actually get... know how much... I, I, the week before you turned up, someone told me how much they paid for a 10-person private RIP tour. Yeah. And I know how much they paid. So yeah, it's, how it's a... much you paid... And how much so, they paid? It's only a hundred dollars difference. Really? Yeah. So, so when I when I went to book the RIP tour, we asked the price for for a private on that night. It was three thousand on that particular night. I think yeah. it was three thousand five hundred for the private tour. Well, that's actually cheaper than what the person who I know did it. He paid. They paid four hundred and fifty dollars each for ten. So yeah, I was about to say three thousand five hundred between eight of you would have been about four hundred and thirty eight dollars. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. Uh, Andrew, who we, we went and met, he'd already booked his, so we just tried to book on the same day. If we would have known, yeah, and planned this would month, have been better. we would have yeah. said we'll book our own eight for three and a half thousand and split it between the eight of us. I think that's what we would have probably done. Yeah, um, yeah, because looking at Simon says at your price, you would only been about 100, 120 pounds extra per person. Yeah, mm. but um, no, honestly, I definitely recommend it. I think. If we all get back out there, when when we, we all get back out there, one of us will be back out there next year anyway. Well, if it's not next year, the, the year after, we should. No, get to I'm taking two years off after this. Or three. Whenever, whenever we're all back, we should just all of us get together. And we should do it. We could. We could even do it. We could even do a UK one. There's a certain event currently going at the moment. I'm doing special offers for next year. 
tally chopped over vest. And <laughs> you know what he means. What Dharma, as I say, Joe is at tonight, and apparently mm. he's having a brilliant time, even though it's raining in the UK. But um, so I'm trying to think what we've gone through. What did you think of um the um what's it called tribute store? Um, yeah, it's, <laughs> the stuff in there is cool, but it, you know it's just way too dark in there. I can't bloody see anything. You must That's be one blind. Thing, but, <laughs> technically, that was actually the theme of it. It was it's, it's themed around a dark ride because if you was if you looked on the floor, yeah. you'd see the track. And you're yeah. potentially supposed to be on like a golf train. Uh, the only problem is, it's like, it, it's like Christy said to me, we were looking for stuff. Christy said, we'll, go and, we'll have a look in at the store. Can't really see this stuff properly, see what the actual yeah. merchandise is like. Yeah, you're better off going to the main universal shops yeah, and City Walk. The, the way they set it up was amazing. You know, absolutely amazing. It really was. Um, but I'll be honest with you, I don't think I bought anything from that. Like, like you said, we went and bought stuff from the universal store, you know, the stuff we wanted. Yep. Um, you know, I got I got a, a hoodie and a t-shirt. Seb got a, a t-shirt. Um, we continued our collection of the the <laughs> tumblers. You know, the glass tumblers. Yeah. So we bought all the the Halloween Horror Nights ones from this year. So the event, what would you give it out of ten? Now we obviously know those days was crowded. There's days you hanged out at me for about five minutes, but it was just too crowded in there. Obviously, you hanged around with a few other friends as well. And I saw in your latest vlog, you met a couple of your fans. Not our fans, definitely not. It's people that we know. Yeah, no, they're so, definitely fans. No, Shh. definitely not. <laughs> but no, honestly, <laughs> for me, because I was with Seb and he had the best time, my ratings are always going to be go the wrong way. It's like yeah. I love Fast and the Furious. No, 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 that's what, no. If, you, you, if, you, if you're seeing it through your son's eyes, this is why I want your, to... it's making your experience, experience even yeah. more enjoyable. This is why we're that's glad you're back thing. on. This is why we're glad you're back on because you're seeing it different from me and yeah. Simon. We're seeing it as just people with no children of our own at the event. Yeah. So we, like, I don't like Disney, but seeing it through Freya's eyes, Yes. And, and then going back through the photos, all the hugging with the characters and that, it makes it worth it. But would I go to Disney if she wasn't on the holiday? No. <laughs> Not See, I would definitely do Halloween Horror Nights again if Seb wasn't with me, but because it was his first time, honestly, it was to me, I'd give it a nine out of ten. I really that's would. But that's, that's what they want. See, so everyone could be different. I think you know, our, our average between me and Simon was a 6.5. So, yeah, you know, but, but if I wasn't there with Seb, probably would have been like a six or a seven you know so I'm and, and so that's, glad. that's the difference and maybe that's what it is me and simon maybe we're getting a bit old and long in our teeth and all that and we're forgetting they've got to start bringing the next generation through now so yeah. they've got to kiddie it down a little bit now for them kids to get older with it and they can maybe build it up again and maybe in five years time we'll be like wow halloween horror nights is scary again yes <laughs> it's like you say you know maybe the art is changing t- to I new think slight, of, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I think they've got to slightly change it because they want to nick everyone from Disney. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, and let's say if it was like it was, you know, five years ago, would Seb have been, probably enjoyed it? He probably would have been scared, you know. Yeah, you know. probably five years ago, 27 and 28. Yeah, he probably would have been terrified. Them years so, were full-blown but Seb really enjoyed it at least. That's what that's he, what he absolutely did. And, and you know, you spent some time with us, Phil. And it's not, I'm not just saying it. He wasn't scared, was he? Oh, no, he wasn't. No, and he wasn't. I, you saw I, it. I, I'm I, it's gonna sound like a dig, but when I hear other things online or I hear other shows, and I can't understand how people got scared this year, I really don't. I just mm. don't think it was scary, but obviously, different thresholds, and obviously, us a lot. Obviously, we're all friends away from the podcast and, and YouTube, and that we're similar type of things we like. So maybe we're all in the same area when it comes to scares. Um, to be honest, yeah, I got scared quite a bit, to be honest. I heard Andrew got uh, scared. I heard that. Yeah, I got scared quite a bit. No, scared is the wrong word. I, was, I just Petrified? embraced it. You know? I, no, I, I embraced it, and I was just like, right, just don't be looking around the corner. Wait for them to jump out, and then they jump out. And I got, you know, they got me quite a few times. But, you know, for me, it's like... <laughs> you know the thing is though because with Seb he, he loved that he buzzed off it you know seeing me getting scared he was yeah. laughing his head off it was great it was so good it really was yeah I did that with, uh, one house I did with uh, my mate Donna we did the weekend and maybe that's why I liked it so much because she went she was um, in front of me or behind me but she was petrified galore 
and it was making me laugh my head off. Yeah. I really? think we're hardened to it now. It's it's one of the, even <laughs> even if they do jump from behind and catch I actually well, had a few I, why... had, I did I did have a square actor uh, in one of them houses actually tap me on the shoulder after the scurvy. I don't know if you were a fan or someone who watches us or whatever and you recognise me. Thank you if it was, but even that didn't make me jump. <laughs> someone actually touching me on um, my back. I would yeah, say as well. Phil, you'd shame... someone to touch you, wouldn't you? What? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, they did when I was a no, I'm not going there. <laughs> not even I'm going that far. Don't worry. I nearly went oh. Ricky Gervais on this show. I have stopped myself. <laughs> but um what I would say as well though, you should have it's a shame you didn't come to a night of Hello Screams because at that event, scare actors mm. were extreme. They were so much better. They're the event's not face. better, but the extremeness of the scare actors were done so much better. They were jumping out of bushes and everything, and that was just awesome. Well, let me tell you something. Today, me and Chris <laughs> were talking in the car about uh, Halloween Horror Nights, and Seb piped up and he said, Dad, have you seen those guys at Hello Scream who were um, sliding around the knees, yes. putting all the sparks off? Mm-hmm. And so he's seen that somewhere himself, you know. I don't know yes. where we've seen it, but they're seen it. they they use spades and everything. I mean, the best one was the, the person who came out of the bush wasn't it, Simon. They were totally yeah. was not, a, just, was a, not a little was a, bit in the bush. They were right in the bush and they yeah. run <laughs> out at you. There was one guy in a ghillie suit, and he blended in really, really well. And he wasn't actually in the bush, but then for literally about five meters down the, down the walkway, there was a guy in full costume, not in a ghillie suit, just a normal costume, came flying out the bush. And there was one other scare yeah. actor at the beginning of it who was dressed up as a URC uh, World worker. Do you remember that, Simon? He was just in his seat. He was pretending oh, to sweep he was, up. Yeah, he was, he yeah. was like a, pretending to be a cleaner, wasn't he, or something? Yeah. Yeah. That, was, that was really clever, see, things like that. And I felt like they had more say how they could scare at Hello Screams. So it wasn't just a, on cue, you do this. They had more freedom. Well, so, I, that, I think that's the difference between the event. Halloween Horror Nights has triggers and set things to do whereas how we'll scream it's a free-for-all so yeah blend both together and it'd be perfect so saying that seb enjoyed this event has that enticed him to try and do some of the uk ones that's all um i think he would do the uk ones if we said that we were going to go um right. now we're back in england halloween horror nights has sort of been forgot so what now, which ones are in your area um well, there's, there's the one in Darwin that you've just done, isn't there? Yeah, it's Fair, fa- it's, uh, fair Factory Live. Yeah. So there's uh, that one in Darwin. It's only, it's only two houses. It's very theatrical. Uh, I can't really say much on here because I have a promise the guy who owns it. I won't release any spoilers until the event's been finished. So, uh, But for the second time of this event being done by this new this new company, I, it was very, very enjoyable. And it was re- relatively cheap as well. Yeah, and then the, then Camelot have brought the one that Camelot's come back, hasn't it? As now, a that, different though. Unfortunately, the unfortunate thing with that, it is completely sold out till the end of no, to beginning of November. What about on Towers? On Towers is you get tickets whenever you want. It's crap. Yeah, it's got, it's got, yeah. That's got about four or five houses, hasn't it? Though? Three. Oh. It's got three houses. Them three houses have been there for the last three years. They brought a new one out, which is audio only. Can I'm I ask sorry, a question? I, I could literally just do that. Listen to it in my own house. I don't even see the point of paying extra money to do can that. I ask a qu- can I ask a question? Yeah. Am I going mad? But years and years ago, did Alton Towers, one of their hotels, set up rooms as horror rooms, like haunted rooms and that, themed rooms? For the class it as a haunt. I think it was a haunted sleepover. <laughs> and literally, they just put spooky stuff in the room. That was it. All right. I was yeah. just wondering. I remember hearing mm-hmm. something about it. So um, you're running out of ideas to do up your way now, mate. Of course, you've got a week. Come down to Tully's. Pay for me to come again. There's a lot of haunted events across the UK everywhere. And I don't know if, I, if you've heard the last one. I am planning to do a lot more next year. We're already starting yes. to get plans in now. Um, once, I get my, once I get my new shifts, so, I'll be able to know what I'm off. So I'll be doing so, something this year. Gaz, you stayed at, as well, you stayed at Cabana Bay Beach Resort, correct? Mm-hmm. Yes, that's right, yeah. Did you have any drinks at the Swizzle Lounge, and what was it like being all decorated up? Uh, the l- lounge was cool. Um, we did have a couple of drinks there. Um, the drinks we had were awful. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Which one did you have? You um, no, well, Is- let, let, me, let me put this straight. We When we went, we said we wanted to get the mummy drink, Yeah. Yeah, like which, which was the blue one. 
But the the only the guy behind the bar said to me, "We don't have the ingredients to make that, so I can't make it." Yeah, he said we only have. They could only make one of the drinks. I can't remember which one it was. And and I knew straight away before I even bought it. I said I said I won't like that because it had it had whiskey in it or something. Oh yeah, the Jack Daniels one. Yeah. And I, I actually enjoyed that one. Yeah, but I don't like Jack Daniels. Oh, um, okay. So I said to Christy, while we're here, let's just get a couple of these drinks and let's try them. So was the awful? Probably not. We just didn't enjoy them. Yeah. Was they worth? Then, was they worth the price? Is that worth? No, well, no because we, <laughs> we, we, we had a sip of them and then we we left them. But obviously, we came oh, you, you one day, didn't we? And we came. You should, to, you, you should have rang me. I would have come and finished them off. <laughs> yeah, like you, yeah you, you came down to Dockside, and I wasn't happy with Dockside because they gave us little pathetic plastic cups. Yes. Why at Surfside at the pool bar? I was getting a proper glass for that drink. Oh. But um, they didn't know you was there, though, did they, Phil? That was the reason you were upset. Well, yeah. no, no. Dockside were upset with me because I moved back to Surfside. <laughs> but, yeah, no, the mummy drink was really nice. Um, Cabana Bay was, you know, as always, it was really good, good place to right, stay. So, with Cabana Bay, what were your thoughts on the um, photo op? Uh, oh. Rubbish. Biggest pile no way, of rubbish. No, oh my god! No, 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 oh, no and that does lean, that does lean onto one more thing as well. The, the, the waste of time. Scare actor dining. What did you think of it? Now you went with me. Honestly, what a waste of money! I just can't get over how bad it was. Um, we we got in there. There was hardly any food left. Um, and I know we we booked onto the last seating. You know the last. Yeah. But, you know that's irrelevant. You know. You know, we spent hundred between the three of us, 150, 170 quid, whatever it was. Um, we got a slice of pizza, um, and there was nothing else left really. And then I the dessert situation said what a dessert, and the, the the guy said, Sorry, you know, there's none left. And I was like, But Chris Christie, obviously, she said, I'm not having this. She went and complained to the manager. Um, you know, it, I, I just and I don't know. I'm really giving it some stick here. I just wasn't impressed with it, and I, I would never do it again. I really wouldn't, you know. What was I oh. saying? You had, you had no food. Uh, I thought some people, a, 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 certain fa- a certain family without a child didn't get any skirt. They didn't get the skirt actors coming around while they had out because I just watched it. Um, Despicable yeah. Three. They went, and the, none of the skirt actors came around to see them. At least yeah. we had that. Yeah. Uh, and. I we weren't told anything to do exactly. It's probably the same as what you did when you got guided, and that was it. They left yeah. at the table and walked off. Yeah, and by that, the way, that gas, really, really annoyed me. That yes, how small was our table? The table was so small. I was yeah. I just Simon really had a bigger table than us. Yeah, and yeah. there was only two of them. Yeah, they could, was... have, they could have easily put the t- where the table I was, and there was a table outside of me that was empty. We could have put them two together and easily got eight people yeah. on there, but was not yeah. impressed. No yeah. forward was, thinking at all. There was six of us around a really small table, and honestly, I don't, I don't normally whinge, um, but you know, like set. Come to the dark about, side, guys. It's about no, it's about <laughs> Seb this holiday, and you know, for us, and like when he said to the woman, "Can I have a dessert?" and she said, "Oh, there's nothing left, sorry." Um, and there was cookies behind, you know, behind the till that you had to buy, and Christy yeah. said. Can we have one of them? She went, no, that we can't sell you. That the you know you've got to buy them. Um, Christy got the manager over, and he was he was he was amazing. The manager, he apologised. You know, he said he said, is there anything I can we can make you to eat? Um, he gave us about three or four cookies. He gave us loads of yeah. sweets. Well, I've got uh, I've got to give it to Universal Management and yes, the people above. They do go above and beyond when something's wrong, but yes. unless you tell them there's something wrong, they're never going to know. No, no well, yeah, no, I just no, wasn't no. happy with the scare actors. And you know, the lady from El Chupacabras, she was brilliant. Yeah, and the one in the baseball bat, the woman from the whatever it was, Coven, Coven she was rubbish. Yeah, and just walked the, around, walked around, pricking a thing, uh, doing yeah. that with a knife and a finger. And um, the other thing I found rubbish was Michael Myers. He, he yeah. just didn't seem to want to be doing them photos. No, the the, the mummy guy was okay. Yeah, do you, know the, do you know the worst part about it as well? We we got them professional photos. We didn't even get go and get them. We forgot. Yeah, so same, same here. Yeah. I just didn't care. I just really hated it so much. I mean, it was it was bad. It was too light in there. The theming was rubbish. Some of the, the theme, characters. The theming was rubbish. There was no theming. Oh, there was a bit. There was there was about two bits of theming there. Yeah. No. The thing is, I I would possibly do Scurvy to Dining again. I'm, I'm going to say this now. If they change the venue, 
that venue is no good for screw out to dining. I told you, I think they need a 10, what they can basically make into anything they want. Where the RIP tour started, no, the theming in there was 10 times better. And as you said, the scare actors were better in there as well. Scare actors were better. There was more of them. There was more of them, you know, and you wasn't even playing, you wasn't even paying for that. So let's talk 2025. If we all go, is everyone up for an RIP tour then? 100%. Probably, whenever probably. we, whenever we'll we go, private, we'll if we can get if we can get a private one or something, if we can get ten of us in there, get a nice private one. By the way, Simon, when when it's private, can you have more than ten people? Up to sixteen, I think it's a minimum of eight. It makes it cheaper. It's a minimum of eight, a maximum of sixteen. But they do try and say, can you keep it between ten and twelve? Because so we'll go fourteen just to wind them up. <laughs> well, <laughs> ten or twelve people obviously makes it easier to keep people together. Yes, and. Like I said, the benefits of a private RIP tour is I just spoke to um, another podcast, not privately, but they don't on their podcast, and they said they went through 22 houses in one night. Wow. So just shows, if you want to do house after house after house and you're on a private RIP tour, because that guide is from is with you from the start till the end. So if they're working, if, they, if you want to stay there till two, you stay there till two, going through all the houses. You do whatever you want. You're, I don't want to say the word, but you're the dog's body. In other words, when you're when, it, when you're guide for a private RIP tour, so they're well worth the money. But it also depends on what time of day, what what day you do them, when the price fluctuates. And the only way you can get it is by ringing Universal. You can't. Also, so that means when we go, we want to go as early as possible in September as well. Well, sometimes they're actually dearer. You need to right, find mid-September out. then. Yeah, you find find out when everyone's together, and also don't forget you do need like um, <laughs> Gaz alluded to. You still need to have tickets. Yes. So yeah, all of that, Gaz, could I persuade you to come out for a weekend in September when I'm out there? Just um, cheeky weekend, four days, fly out, do uh, Halloween no, horror nights. No, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you. Um, <laughs> It's just we're so we're so busy with work and things. What if I ask you this question again next year, closer to the event when more like eight of the houses are announced and they're things you may be interested in? Be honest with you, if I could just go go over there quickly for a day and do it, I would. It's just um, I don't know. We we felt and me and Christy have spoke about this at length. Nothing really has changed since we last went three years ago, and we felt. Um, even though it's an amazing place, we just felt it was just the same. The problem with Universal right now is the main aim is all gunning on Epic Universe. Otherwise, I think we would have seen so many changes in the, the original two parks by now. I just think, though, for us, Florida, I don't know. It, it, it was just different this time we went back, and I don't know what the reason being is. We had the most amazing time. And, you know, and you know the worst thing is, is, it's like I said, if we wouldn't have met you guys out there and other people, I don't think the holiday would have been as good as it was. It was just, I don't know. There was something missing. Um, so we, we just feel like we need a break from it. So I think we're going to try somewhere different next year. Interesting. Sounds like he's, off to, he's off to Scotland. No. Well, yeah, <laughs> we, I don't know where we're going to go, but we're going to try somewhere different. Why don't you try yeah, like a, a um, cruise or something? camper van again and do a U- UK tours. Do oh, all the haunts in the UK. Uh, go and do a cruise. Style, no. Go and do a cruise. You've never really done one, have you? So that would be different. No. no. Oh, we could just do Tenerife. <laughs> oh, I, I've Ep- never been there, Epic Mike. Travels brought to you by Epic Haunts. I've never been yeah. to Tenerife. By the way, people, I'm vlogging Tenerife in November and December into January, if you're interested. The Incredible Wilsons will also be vlogging it in December, maybe. Another cheap plug by our Phil, though. Yeah, I didn't say my channel's name though. Epic Phil, go and check it out, and you'll see all my Orlando vlogs as well. Thank you very much. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it's towards the end of the show now. I'm doing it, but yeah, so something was missing from this holiday. But you were lucky enough to meet Simon and bad enough to meet me there. Well, you've met Simon before, but yeah, I've met Simon before. Right, so we're going to get off of Halloween Horror Nights. You know, I want to quickly move to on a positive note. We're end this both of you, Spirit Halloween. What do they think of it? The store, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. We've well, he's, been still out. Got, he's, still, he's still got his shirt on. Unfortunately, Chucky's um, carved the pumpkin downstairs, so he's he's guarding his pumpkin now. Okay. If, no, you well, pump, if you're wondering what pumpkin I'm on about, have a look at our Instagram. 
And obviously behind me is stuff I bought from Spirit Halloween as well. Some framed photos, what I thought was really cool. This, if this was in Spirit Halloween, I would have bought this, but this is not. This is from somewhere in the UK. That's cool. cool it's pretty cool. So what did you buy in Spirit Halloween apart from that top? Anything else? Yeah, we bought Seb a full screen outfit and a big knife. Um, and I think that was all we bought, wasn't it? Yeah, that I, was think it. You, I think you went there a few times into the store as well. I know I went three times to it just to walk around. I loved it in there. We only went there once with yourself, but um, okay. like today, we've been out getting Halloween decorations, you know, to decorate the house. And um, Christy said to me, I wish there was a spirit Halloween shop in England. Oh, I actually said that to my mum last week. I go, oh, I go to a I want spirit Halloween over here, but thank God we're going back in September because I'm sure it would be around the same area again and I can go back in there. Yeah. There is there is some not pop up shops, but some places like arranged I started doing the inflatables and stuff like that. If you want I will say something stuff, for but... both of you though, next year if I'm out there, what I'll do my first time I go into Spirit Halloween, I'll just go around, record it, send it to you. If there's anything you like you're interested in, I'll, I'll go and grab it for you and then I can post it when we're back. I'm back in the UK. Yeah. Or um or you can come up to Bolton and visit up or, me in or, or you can come down to me. We can all do Tully Shoptoberfest and I can give it to you there. <laughs> well, uh I can Safely say we are definitely doing Tullys next year. Oh, I think uh, I've literally got my, I've got my, t- I've got, I've got my ticket in the basket. I am about to pay for it. It's probably later on tonight. Yeah, Gaz, it was my favourite event. Was it? Yeah, by miles. And well, that, you'll get all the review of that on another episode. What we got? It's like you house. said. We can all come and stay at your house, can't we, Phil? You sent me yeah, video, that, that, that one I sent you of what Simon yeah. stayed at. It was beautiful, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> was that hotel yeah. all right? Yes, yeah, sir. it was. It's a, it's a converted farm. So it was it was nice. They've only got I think they've only got four rooms. So if you want to get it, you need to book it early. And also, Gaz, four minutes across the road is a pub. Yeah. Well, it's not even four minutes. It's literally you stumble out of the place and you fall yeah. into your bed. So that's really quite useful. And it's an actually. Indian as well, if you like Indian food. Nice. Yeah, so that's that's been there. That's quite a popular pub in my area, actually. It's only two minutes away from my work as well. Yeah, Phil. I hope you're not popping there on your dinner. I would never do anything. I I'd ne- I have never walked out of work through work hours when the sun's out and sit, sat in the beer garden. Or gone to Subway or KFC. Oh, Subway, many. Oh, no, no. Stuff, stuff work, I don't care what I say. I've always walked down to Subway and got a Subway sandwich. Stuff them. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the cobwebs need cleaning, even though you lived in them yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just taking this Hoover all the way. We go, Phil. Walking down the road with a Hoover. <laughs> <laughs> right so that is pretty much it so you loved halloween horror nights all depends if you can get time next year to do a cheeky weekend yes. out there um and that all depends as well if it even looks like a good event to you because if it doesn't look good there's no point even mm. doing a cheeky weekend um we're all planning to do a tour of each other in a few years time what would be awesome as i said before subscribe to the um the incredible wilson's on youtube so much great content on there they're better than me at it as well guys and seb's a legend so you should subscribe to them anyway obviously subscribe to us on youtube and all good podcast apps give us a great review and yeah again subscribe to us on twitter at tiktok at instagram all at epic haunts Yep. Look at that. What a pro. <laughs> yeah. oh, you're getting good at this, Phil. Yeah. yeah. And if you didn't notice, Epic Haunts is the new name for the YouTube channel. Yes, it's all been changed now. And it's okay if you haven't seen it. The um, the Epic Florida project is no more. Mm. Unfortunately. It's gone. So everyone Single on the tier. Epic Florida project, just we're leaving Single the Twitter tier, open and that. Cheek. Yeah. We're leaving everything open until just the end of December on social media and then they're all going so move across yeah. to epic haunts everyone yeah. and have you and follow the incredible wilson's on instagram i think that's what they use the most isn't yeah, it yeah thank you phil thank you for plugs yep and um that's pretty much it sam you got anything to plug quickly yeah <coughs> go and follow simon on youtube simon and julie yeah, and on twitter do. there's nothing going up on there yet there's, there's three <coughs> videos <laughs> i still need to find the music for one of them so they'll go okay, up eventually guys, hey, hey this is gonna make you laugh just before i let us go just we've just got a, tw- a direct message from Joe. Let's have a read. Right, this is Joe's first thought of Tully's October Fest. People see this is how good we are. Four houses down now, boys. Simon, you were bang on saying this is better than HHM. Well, say no more. Yep. So 
It's there, guys. So there you have it, guys. It's done better than HHN. So I'm guessing Joe will want to be there next year. And we're going to entice the incredible Wilsons out. Gaz, I am going to let you go now, mate. Thank you for everything. No, thank Simon. you for having me once again. Bit of superstar. We'll end it here. Um, as I said, do all the socials, YouTube, all that stuff. See you on the next episode with another guest, um, whoever that may be. Um, be epic, Simon. Stay spooky, my friends. Yes, it's Halloween. Say it. Yes, say it. Say it. Tatty. Stay spooky. No, no, no. Tatty. Tatty, Tatty bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>